Maybe you're familiar with this situation, quite annoying I must say, but I'm sure you have never wondered why this happens. This phenomenon is called cavitation. But what is cavitation? Cavitation occurs when the pressure of a fluid is lowered below its vapor pressure, forming bubbles of vapor. What does this mean? This means that small bubbles of air are formed within the liquid. These bubbles then rise extremely fast because they are less dense than the liquid and this causes them to quickly expand, causing a sort of explosion that makes the liquid overflow. This can also happen when a liquid is turning a sharp corner around a moving piece of metal, like a ship's propeller or a pump cymbal. The greater the liquid depth at which the fluid acceleration occurs, the smaller the tendency for cavitation, because of the greater difference between local pressure and vapor pressure. But cavitation is not just annoying, it can cause serious problems. First, the noise created by cavitation is a particular problem for military submarines, as it increases the chances of being detected by passive sonars. Also, when the bubbles collapse later, they typically cause very strong local shock waves in the fluid, which may be audible and may even damage the blades. This problem can be solved. An example of this are dams. In dams, Cavitation can cause enormous problems due to the high speeds of the water when falling from such great heights. To prevent this, when water falls from the dam, it doesn't fall directly on the water below, but is instead guided on a slide so that the force of it is reduced. This way, cavitation is prevented and so the dam is not damaged. This doesn't mean, however, that everything about cavitation is a problem. Nowadays, engineers are actually using cavitation to benefit us. This is called supercavitation. It's the use of cavitation effects to create a bubble of gas inside a liquid large enough to greatly reduce the friction on an object traveling through a liquid, enabling achievement of very high speeds. Currently, these applications are mainly limited to projectiles and very fast torpedoes and some propellers. But in principle, the technique could be extended to, entire, to include entire vehicles. If you enjoyed this video, please press like, subscribe to our channel, and next time you're with your friends, practice cavitation.